Hi guys, welcome to the session. My name is Prakash, Math Tutor. Uh, let's solve the question which I have written on the whiteboard. See here, we need to prove a left hand side is equal to right hand side. Mm, let's take a left hand side and uh, prove that is equal to right hand side. So in left hand side, we have tan A divided by 1 minus cot A plus cot A divided by 1 minus tan A. We know that tan A can be written as sin A divided by cos A. Also, cot A can be written as cot A is equal to cos A divided by sin A. So, let's take left hand side and plug uh, plug these values, plug these trigonometry expressions. So we have tan theta, so tan tan a, so tan a can be written as sin a, sin a divided by cos a, whole divided by 1 minus cot a is cos a divided by sin a. So similarly plus a cot a is cos a divided by sin a divided by 1 minus a sin a divided by cos a because it's tan a. So if we simplify this a sin a divided by cos a in the numerator I'll write down the numerator as it is and take lcd of a denominator so which is we'll get sin a minus cos a divided by whole divided by a sin a plus uh, similarly uh, write down the uh, numerator in terms as it is which is cos a divided by a sin a whole divided by and here lcd is cos a so cos a minus a sin a divided by cos a so now I simplify the expression further see here we have sin a in the denominator so it goes to the numerator so we'll get sin a sin into sin a divided by cos a into sin a minus cos a and similarly in the second term we will get a cos a and we have a cos a in the denominator term so this goes to uh, the numerator so we'll get cos a into cos a whole divided by and that sin a comes to the denominator so sin a into cos a minus sin a cos a minus sin a now a simplify further see here sin a sin a becomes sin square a and we have cos a in the denominator so write down as it is cos a into sin a minus cos a and in the second term we have uh, a sin a i mean second term denominator we have uh, a sin a into cos a minus sin a so write that in the form of sin a minus cos a so that you need to take out minus outside so if you take minus out we'll get minus sin a into sin a minus cos a now see here we have sin a minus cos a term in both the denominator 
now take lcd of and then simplify so sine square i mean see here we have one sa minus sine a here so this goes to the so we will get sine cube sine cube a divided by and we have minus so this minus becomes and we will get cos square and cos cube so sine cube a minus cos cube a divided by sine sin a cos a into a sin a minus cos a yeah now use a cube minus b cube formula so which is a or else x cube minus y cube formula is x minus y into x square plus x y plus y square so we'll get sine cube and minus cos cube becomes sine a minus cos a into sine square a plus sine a cos a plus cos square a whole divided by the same denominator which is sine a cos a into sin a minus cos a okay now we have a sin a minus cos a in both the numerator and denominator so just cancel that out so we'll get sin square a plus a sin a cos a plus cos square a divided by sin a cos a so and if, if you divide each term so we'll get sin square a divided by sin a cos a and sin a cos a divided by sin a cos a and finally cos square a divided by sin a cos a so in the first term we have sin sin a in both the numerator and denominator but we have sin square in the numerator so sin a sin a cancels out we'll get yeah we'll get a sin a divided by cos a yes exactly so now sin a cos a sin a cos a cancels out which becomes 1 and cos x cos a divided by sin a now we already know that sin a by cos sin by cos is tan so sin a by cos a is tan a and plus 1 and cos a divided by sin a is cot a so which can be written as 1 plus tan a plus cot a so which is nothing but the right hand side right hand side so hence it is proved so left hand side is equals to right hand side so hence it is proved i hope you understand this question thanks for watching